While looking after the boat, we decided to install some solar panels. The panel's not arrived yet, we've just got the electronics, but it will go on here. It's a pretty huge panel, 300 watts, um, and cables just go down to this mushroom vent. It saves us having to drill a new hole. So um, we have all the charge controller pieces, um, MPP charge controller, um, 20 amp charge controller, um, this is from Bimble Solar, they're usually quite reliable. And then we've got the um, remote meter, which tells you how many amps you're getting in, battery voltage, etc. And we've got a um, non-standard cable, which plugs the two together. Six millimeter solar cable. I've got to work out the best way of holding down this solar panel. It's um, 300 watts at 24 volts. It's going to go into the MPP charge controller via that mushroom bench as current plan. If I can route the cables. Uh, what is the best way of fastening this to the roof? We have problems <laughs> with running the cable. It goes all the way through the roof, through the ceiling, and then down inside here. Uh, we have a spaghetti junction of stuff inside this little box here, which we bypass, and then it comes down, down, and then we have a hole in the wall here, which can bring the cable out, and we screw the um, charge controller in there. And then underneath here is a way for the um, uh, 12 volt cables to go to the batteries, just connected to lugs to the batteries. It's a pretty simple install. And um, we'll have to get a stiff wire and see if we can push the cables through or, or push some string through, tie that onto the end of the cables, pull the cables through. If we don't do that, we have to um, drill a new hole in the roof and get a cable gland to put it through the roof in a new hole. I prefer not to do that because this mushroom vent here is actually right next to where the cables are going to come out, so it kind of makes sense. Now I think we have to take off this one as well and then we should be able to run the cables through by hand and they just go through to there. What do we just do? I took off this panel and this panel giving us access to uh, the ceiling beneath the roof, the steel roof and the steel beams. I quietly fed the cable down this gap here uh, and then put it back through, wound it over this roof uh, um, support passes through support down underneath the foam and then through here. It was a patient job of just quietly threading. And we're just crimping on all the um, connectors with a nice crimp tool and um, the solar panel things in place with the um, connectors up to the roof. Uh, next, I've got to do the MC4 connectors on the end of here, go up to the panels, and we're pretty much done. The last stage is just to put a pair of MC4 connectors on the end of these cables and plug the panel in. The working out of 12 metres for the amount of cable we need was pretty good. We've got a metre or so left. 35 volts, so the panel is super happy. We're happy, wow. the panel's happy, Martin's semi-happy. <laughs> <laughs> but at least the panel's happy. Well, it's That's what fucking matters. cold! <laughs> it is. <laughs> The spaghetti junction, we've tidied up a bit. Charge controller is in place. All of the cables are tied down. Uh, the voltage regulator display. Uh, what is the best way of fastening this to the roof?